What's the topic right now? Evolution? Have you, like, I'm gonna, like, this is so funny to me. Like, one day we were out in a pub drinking, okay? We were out drinking in a pub, and there's this girl who went with me in high school. I told her about this a little bit, I think. Medicine school, and she's finishing right now. She's gonna be a doctor. I don't wanna say the name, because I don't wanna be a cunt. But, uh, I found it very funny. We were drinking, and I, I like, I like jabbing, especially when I'm drinking. I, I like jabbing and like starting convos, <laughs> and I kind of like provoked her a little bit. I started just asking her about a bunch of topics, and we some we somehow got to evolution. She didn't believe in evolution. She's she's a doctor, like she will be like very soon. Who doesn't believe in evolution, which I found very very fucking interesting and counterproductive, I'd say. I mean, she believed in the creator, which is totally fine. Like, why not? Like, as long as you're not harming anybody. But how can you... I don't get that. How can someone be a doctor and not believe in evolution? Also, I've, uh, my uh, neighbor... My neighbor girl that's now, like... Uh, not here living anymore. Um, I'm good friends with her as well. And she, she went to genetics, like, school classes. <laughs> and she told me that there was a bunch of people in her, in her classes. Like, you're going to genetics! Okay? And they don't believe in evolution. How the fuck can that happen? I was baffled. Coincidentally, I was drinking at that occasion as well. I'm coming across as an alcoholic, but trust me. People get, like, help. Like, people go against evolution specifically because of religion. Which is kind of bad. I think they should be a bit more educated. Like, because if you're gonna, if you're gonna believe that the Earth is... Not older than 6,000 years, then you can't immediately like, believe in evolution. It's impossible. It's impossible to believe in evolution if you think it's only 6,000 years old. But you, you can just simply use carbon dating, carbon like C13, right? Use E13 to figure out. You can come up within like thousands of years pretty, pretty accurately to what, what is what old. And like you can... Cons like confidently prove that we're <laughs> it's way older than that and in fact we have pretty accurate like that is 4.6 billion years old the earth where's the where's the horizon bruh look at yo bruh yo bruh look at the look at the line there's no there's no curvature where's the curve where's the curve bruh <laughs> first of all if you look at every like conspiracy theory first you have to look at like who would do it why was the motive some like, hey, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Pretty fucking plausible. There's a lot of people wanted his ass dead. Fucking plausible. Makes sense. What 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 is the point of the flat Earth conspiracy? We are under a dome on the Earth. We are we are surrounded by Antarctic. So every person in the military and science, and whoever flew a balloon. And all the, the pilots and all like the people who have any sort of knowledge are paid by NASA, who gets like 0.5% of America's budget, while their military gets like 10 times more, probably even more than that. Everyone's paid by NASA, so they can, I don't know, sell globes? Well, what the fuck is the point? What is the point of us believing that it's flat instead of curved? I mean, a simulation, that's also an interesting one. Um, there are a lot of arguments that we are in a simulation, okay? I, I heard, the best one I heard from, like, really top-tier scientists was, if I can remember it correctly, forgive me here. Um, um, what is the chance we're, we're in a simulation right now? Extremely huge. Why? Because if you can create a universe, if you can have a universe... That is capable of creating a simulation. Then that simulation would create a universe. Which is capable of creating a simulation. Nested simulations. So you can have like this recursive function of infinite, infinitely scaling simulations within simulations within simulations that are like creating each other. And then what is the chance? What are the odds we are in the original universe? That's the real one. Super tiny, like statistically. But I, I don't, I don't know about the simulation or like logic, because I'm not a huge fan of it. Because even if we are, it doesn't really matter anything. Because for us, it does feel real. It seems real, so we can't 
even you can't ever get out of a simulation so you can't like conclusively like get out step out say fuck this shit i'm out doesn't really matter it doesn't impact our lives so just live your lives to, to your best ability uh also there is irrational numbers which i love to bring up every fucking time as like pi 3.141592653538 uh, um pi has seemingly endless non-repeating patterns of digits and we have supercomputers calculating them at like all the fucking time and we still haven't found the, the recurring pattern or the end and if you're trying to create a simulation if you're any programmer worth your salt you will have a limit for the precision okay you will not waste infinite resources creating an infinite digit okay that's why we use fucking float that's why we which is like four like four bytes right then then we have double which is like eight bytes and we have different formats and we can go into different precision then we have for currency which can go into deeper and shit like that wait what is a pascal's wager i've heard that before pascal's wager i've heard that term before does not actually exist such a person will only have finite loss some pleasure luxury to receive infinite gains ah yeah i thought about this before i just never knew it was a pascal's wager i actually thought about this before yeah but uh, you can always like argue that it's not true belief if you're doing it out of rationality out of like i'll just hedge my bets in case there's a creator i, I was a good boy so uh, you can you can just argue it's not like true belief or whatever uh, i'm not sure about this honestly it's just i mean a lot of people do operate on, under this for sure I position myself in life, like, according to science. I'm, I'm making assumptions based on what I have to work with. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions to say God exists or doesn't exist. I cannot disprove it. It's an undisprovable hypothesis. I cannot disprove it, but I haven't proven it yet, so and I don't have conclusive evidence. So I'm just gonna stand in the middle work my way through and try to learn more what's your opinion on quantum physics oh boy quantum physics is extremely complex like quantum physics are keeping us guessing at the moment whether our universe is deterministic because if universe is deterministic that means you can deduce outcome of everything with sufficient knowledge that is laplace's demon uh laplace posed uh that there's if you had a being that knew everything like every position of every atom in the universe infinite knowledge that can predict outcome fully of everything like you can predict in four billion years what's going to happen that everything is deterministic that there's no essentially like magical free will that is laplace's demon and quantum physics keeps us guessing there because it's dice it's apparently dice it's a bunch of probability functions because a particle is in multiple places particle exists in multiple places until you look and then you it, the function collapses and you figure out it's there and at best you can guess the probability where the, the where it's going to be where the particle is actually going to be so it, you have probability is going to be here is high here is going low and, and shit like that and that's also why like um uh why we cannot build why we cannot build our computers smaller okay our our computers have a physical limit how small it can get and we're getting pretty close okay um we're building our chips so small that the transistors are super small transistors are basically zero or one zero or one and the more you have them the more power you have and we're building them so small right now that electrons are gonna start start popping out through it and giving us full info false info so turning zeros into ones electrons are gonna go through it if we build any smaller so we have a kind of finite limit on how small we can build our, our transistors and pcs because of quantum physics like they're just gonna jump that's quantum tunneling they're just gonna like because of a probability function it's gonna go over here and there's a small probability it appears like beyond this wall 
and turns a zero into a one. What are you studying? IT programming at the moment. But I do read a bunch of shit about the stuff that I'm interested. Yeah, Squid Squad show that would be interesting. Yeah, now it would have a pretty cool theme. I don't know if I could like do that because probably right I would need Riot's permission to use Volcus. But we could have like a uh, cool animations and like transitions, like Volcus disintegrating stuff and we getting the knowledge out of it. So it's all about pursuit of knowledge, and then we get guests on the show. Brilliant, Squid Squid show. I love it. Carl Sagan has a brilliant book about our planet where he writes about the little dot and the photo from the Voyager 1. Yeah, he's the reason they turned it around, by the way. The Voyager was just supposed to observe the planets and go away. Carl Sagan persuaded everyone and they needed direct permission from, because it does a chain of command, they needed direct permission from the, like, the CEO at the moment of, like, NASA. And he persuaded them himself that they should turn it around, Voyager, and take one picture of Earth looking meaningless out there as a speck of light. I can find it. A pale blue dot. I can find this. It's brilliant. Actually brilliant. Yep. That's, we, that's where we are. That's us. One pixel there. That is us suspended in a sunbeam. And he has a... Oh, we're gonna listen to this. Okay, you're all gonna learn about Carl Sagan today. You're all gonna learn about Carl Sagan today, chat. It's about time. You need to learn about Carl Sagan. If you haven't seen Cosmos, you should. You have to see this. The best scientific show ever. By far. Hands down. And cherish the pale blue dot. Poet, whenever he opened his mouth, and he he was an astronomer, like extremely eloquent, super smart. Uh, his IQ was like 170. He, he was incredibly talented at everything he did, and he was out of his time. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Like he he died 24 years ago. Still thinking about like how how clever he was with the research. Like how many resources we have right now. That, like available to us how much help we have in our lives and how far off we are measuring yourself to him is just super humbling thank you for your contribution how, how smart he was how out of his time the stream spirit lord yo you made me